Hey y'all. Alright, I had the idea to tell ghost stories. First of all, what are ghosts? I think ghosts are usually evil spirits, demons, fallen angels that appear like somebody that you knew to trick you. Um, my best friend, you could say that she's a seer. I took her actually to a prayer meeting. I was like, yeah, it's like a prayer meeting at a church. And someone there said that she was a seer. But I think demons have messed with her a lot. Um, a seer is someone who can see into the spiritual realm. But she said one time she thought that her aunt's boyfriend was in her backyard. And then the next day at church she was like, Martin, why didn't you come inside? And he was like, no, I wasn't there. And I was like, ah, you saw a ghost of him. Which, and then I was thinking, I thought a few times, that'd be so creepy if she went out to try to actually talk to him. But then it was, you know, if it was an evil spirit or something, like what would have happened, you know? But that's kind of creepy. And then my ex-husband, um, I guess he did have schizophrenia before and at the end of our relationship and before he met me. And he said one time there were like people in his back alley trying to tell him to go to a different city. And I, but he realized that they weren't actually there. Anyways, be careful of uh, evil spirits, obviously. Um, what else? Oh, I was gonna tell more stories of my best friend. So she, one time she was like on her knees praying next to her bed and she felt like ropes being thrown around her and she could hear, hear like pickaxes and demons were like yelling and they were like, get her, get her. Like they were trying to drag her to hell or something. And then this other time she looked in a mirror and it was like, instead of her face, it was like Satan and there were like flames all around it and, it, and Satan was like trying to talk to her. I think, she said, I think he said something like, come to the dark side. Very, very strange. But um, I think, I don't know what it was. It could have been something connected to somebody in her family. Like, uh, like maybe there was a witch somewhere in her family. Also, this one kid that I babysat, <laughs> the mom, <clears throat> the, it was actually in a city next to where I'm living now. The mom said that sometimes she would smell smoke around the house, which when you smell smoke or sulfur, you know demons are around. That's like an indication that they're around. And then she said lights would turn on sometimes, like after she turned all the lights off. And then she would see her two-year-old talking to somebody that wasn't there. Which I babysat this two-year-old. And yeah, at first when I babysat her, she had like black eyes, but super blonde hair. Like almost white blonde. And then I was like praying for her for like a month. And then her eyes changed color to like light blue. So that kind of stuff is real. But <laughs> I remember posting about this on Facebook. And somebody was like, no, kids can't have demons and then I think someone respond, they're like, yeah, if there's a witch in their family, then they can. And the, this little girl, her aunt was a witch. So, anyways, yeah, that kind of shocked me too. I thought that little kids couldn't have demons, but I guess it's possible. Because, yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's like kids aren't evil, so why would that happen? But these things happen. Why does God let it happen? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I hope nobody you know has demons. Um, I guess that's basically it as far as ghost stories. Oh, my ex-husband was like Pentecostal, so he was into like manifestations of the Holy Spirit. And he saw a ball of light one time and he thought it was an angel and I was like, I was like, how do you know it was an angel? The Bible says Satan masquerades as an angel of light. And he said he saw angel, he saw gold dust on his hand, on his hands, which was like a spiritual leader that he was following at the time. And I was like, gold dust. I was like, but the love of money is the root of all evil. And he was like, well, there's streets of gold in heaven. And I was like, okay. But be careful of any supernatural experience. Don't just assume it's God. It could be something that Satan's doing to deceive you to pull you into the darkness. And don't seek supernatural experiences. Um, yeah, a verse that I would always bring up with my ex was, you know, what was it? The Pharisees asked Jesus for a sign and he said, a wicked and adulterous generation, a wicked and adulterous generation asked for a sign, but none will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. So Jesus was mad 
that they were asking for a sign because he had already done so many signs, you know? He was like, why do you need more? He was like, you guys are greedy. <laughs> That's probably what Jesus was thinking. Like, how many signs every day I heal somebody and I teach all these awesome things and that's not enough for you people? You still need more signs? More signs and wonders? Watch out for signs and wonders. And then, um, which is kind of ghost stories. And then, um, there's a verse, I think it's Matthew 24, 24. I'm pretty sure that's it, but it says that, that false teachers will perform false signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Which I always thought that was interesting. Even the elect could possibly be led astray. So watch out for signs and wonders. Watch out for supernatural stuff. There was a phenomenon for a long time and a lot of churches of people getting slain in the spirit, you know, falling back in church which my ex was into, and I was always like, why is it called getting slain in the spirit? That is so weird. Why would you want to do something where you're getting slain, like you're getting killed? Which I guess they could have said, well, we're dying to the old man. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. You, do you guys have ghost stories that you could share? I bet if you have stories, you don't really want to have them. I actually have never seen a ghost. I've never seen an angel. I've never heard an audible voice. I'm pretty sure God talks to me. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can talk to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which is interesting because they have different opinions on things. <laughs> pretty sure the Holy Spirit's a woman, which is nice. So I think... Maybe women are more inclined to speak to the Holy Spirit. But man, you can talk to Jesus, which it's cool if you think about it because Jesus has a totally different perspective because he was a human being. And then sometimes I think I can talk to God the Father, which is also different because, well, he is the top dog. So anyways, but you know, what's interesting is that none of them have had the experience of being a woman on the earth, so. It's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Anyways, back to ghost stories. Do I have any other ghost stories? No. But there is this one really cool, interesting guy on YouTube. You guys should all look it up. He was an ex-Mason, ex-vampire, ex-Mormon. And he shares some really, really cool ghost stories. So you guys should look up his testimony on YouTube. Anyways, God loves you. I hope you don't see any ghosts anytime in the next few weeks. And keep praying, keep your shield of faith up, so that you will be safe. Yes, I pray that you will all be safe this Halloween season. And stay inside as much as you can, seriously. Don't go out there. Don't go to any Halloween parties, okay? Stay safe. God loves you all. God bless. Bye.